Yo, what is up guys? It's me, Zach Lee, back bringing you some more daily NBA news. Thank you once again for coming back. You guys already know that you are the real MVPs. And if you haven't already, then be sure to smack that sub button and hit the bell as well so you can stay up to date with everything that goes on in the NBA on a daily basis. But now, let's take a look at everything that is going on in the NBA. But first, a quick word about this video sponsor, AthleticCases.com. Basketball, baseball, football, or soccer, no matter what the sport, you guys can now rock your favorite player on the back of your phone. Use the promo code Zach Lee for 10% off your order. Links are in the description box below. First up in the news, speaking of the NBA, let's talk about the JBA for a second, the Junior Basketball Association. And LeVar Ball is really starting to push this whole JBA thing as he is now offering tons and tons and tons of perks to the nation's top high school players to try and convince them to come play for him instead of going to college or the G League. As he just said that he is is willing to pay some of the nation's top athletes up to 50k a month to come play for him. Ball says all eight players on the JBA championship team will get a new car. He says he'll take the 10 best guys of the league on a European tour to showcase their talents. He says he'll pay top ranked recruits 10k, 20k, 50k a month plus 60% of their jersey sales. He claimed all the best players will come to the JBA instead of college or G League because he's the big baller and they don't know who the boss is in the G League because his league is real. These dudes are gonna come through this lane. They're gonna be like, man, he is so genuine. That's who I want to play for. Yo, those are some pretty big promises and perks coming from LeVar Ball. Like if he could come through and deliver 10K, 20K, 50K a month these players, plus give the winning team brand new whips plus take the top 10 players on tour overseas so they can really showcase their talents and also up their stocks in the draft i'm not even gonna lie that is an extremely tempting package that might be able to convince some decent players to sign up for his league anyways as for the reason he's doing this we all know the reason he's doing it this is because his league right now the jba isn't doing so well and with the state of the jba right now there is no way that his youngest son Lamelo Ball makes it to the NBA strictly through the JBA. Lamelo is putting up 41 points per game on 38% shooting from the field, 12.7 rebounds, and 7.6 assists per game. What else do I need to say? While you might think 41, 12, and 7 sounds sounds amazing, sounds like a future first round, first overall draft pick, right? Of course he has to go first overall. He's putting up 41, 12, and 7. But you have to remember, he's doing this against really a bunch of nobody. It's not like he's going up against the nation's top players. The JBA itself so far seems like nothing more than a glorified YMCA, you know, glorified pickup games, just a regular rec league. And when was the last time that you heard of a player getting drafted out of a YMC rec league? You ain't never heard it and you ain't never gonna hear about it. So LeVar really has to convince some of the nation's top players to come play for him so the league can become more official and the scouts and stuff will start are taking it seriously but like i said in the past all he needs is that one guy lavar ball just needs one of the nation's top recruits to come play for him and then make it to the nba through that once that happens once he gets the first guy the entire process will become a lot easier because people will see that it is a legit option to make it to the nba now the only question is if he will ever get that player and if he does will it be too late and when i say will it be too late i mean for his youngest son LaMelo Ball because LaMelo Ball is already 16 years old meaning that if he was a normal child and was doing things the normal way by going to high school and college then the NBA he'd be ready to declare for the draft in the next two to three years meaning that now LaVar Ball has to get people to take this league seriously to give his son a good chance of being drafted into the NBA within the next two or three years which is not a heck of a lot of time at all next up in the news though we got yet another update on Carmelo Anthony and where he could be playing next season. And before this report, only the Heat, Lakers, and Rockets were mentioned as teams in which Carmelo Anthony could end up with this upcoming season. But now that has changed as there has been yet another team added to the mix. And that team is none other than the wait hold why am i pretending like you guys don't already know why am i trying to build up this anticipation 
tell you about the team when you already know exactly what the team is because it's in the freaking title what am i doing it's the philadelphia 76ers that is right we got reports out saying that the philadelphia 76ers are interested in adding carmelo anthony to their roster but it also said that the houston rockets are still the favorites to land carmelo anthony carmelo anthony's business manager bay frazier spent much of the first half of the rockets warriors summer league game here in vegas tonight sitting with mike d'antoni chris paul tillman Fertitta, and john lucas the second so a bunch of houston rockets higher ups as well as chris paul and that's when another reporter responded by saying this interesting nba executives largely consider houston the favorite to sign carmelo anthony also have heard lakers heat and sixers mentioned as well i bet it'll be the rockets though so the philly fans who really don't want to see mellow lacing up for you guys don't be too too worried about this since the houston rockets are still considered the favorites to land carmelo anthony but of course we've seen things change before and don't forget that carmelo anthony loves new york he would love to be as close as home to possible in new york city and philadelphia i'm just saying it's only a couple hours away that's like a 45 minute plane ride if that in other news it seems that jabari parker will not be returning to the milwaukee bucks we haven't gotten any real updates on his situation there has been no news to come out about any contract negotiations between the bucks and jabari parker and i'd be surprised if we heard about any after after this as he just unfollowed Giannis Antetokounmpo on Instagram as well as blocked the Bucks fan page and unfollowed the Bucks as well he is removing everything Bucks related from his life right now so uh yeah he, he gone now the only question is where exactly is he about to end up where is he going to like I said there have been no updates at all on Jabari Parker and I'm talking about no team showing interest no trade talks no nothing I I didn't even know the guy still had a pulse before we got these reports in so i guess maybe teams are trying to see who is going to make the first offer try and see what his market value is out there what other teams value jabari parker at or maybe he will come back to the bucks still but just on the qualifying offer stay there for one more year prove that he can stay healthy prove that he can get back to the player he was before his second injury back to the 20 point per game jabari parker and then try free agency again as an unrestricted free agent next summer for our next story of the day of course Luka Doncic isn't playing in the summer league because he's still tired from playing overseas meaning that we won't get to see him for, for until October which sucks but is understandable like I said it sucks because he was one of the players actually the player I'm looking forward to seeing play the most out of this entire draft class and that is because he has been receiving so much hype and not only from media and fans but from other players in the league as well this guy gets hyped up like none other by other NBA players and that trend continued yesterday yesterday as Giannis Andekumbo just gave Luka Doncic some serious serious praise he is the most exciting player that has appeared in basketball in recent years I think he will have an immediate impact in the NBA the most exciting player in recent years Giannis says that is a ton of praise if you think about all the great players that have come into the league in recent years years because then he is saying that he's more excited than guys like donovan mitchell ben simmons jason tatum joel mb devin booker i could go on this is exactly why i cannot wait to see him play but it sucks that i have to wait until october that is three months from now and now for our final a bit of news or our final section of the video the free agency update where i just fill you guys in on all the official maybe even smaller stuff that went down during free agency and first up sticking with the bucks they just reached a deal with brooke lopez a one-year 3.4 million dollar deal now this could be a steal but at the same time it's not exactly what the bucks needed at the center position since they are struggling with their shot blocking and rebounding and brooke lopez isn't elite in either of those areas but still he is a better big than Giannis has ever had to play with so there's not much complaining there overall solid deal and next up the Detroit Pistons are bringing Zaza Pachulia on board as they agreed on a one year 2.4 million dollar deal not quite sure how I personally feel about that but 
you know, it's whatever. And lastly, the San Antonio Spurs opted not to match the offer the Grizzlies made for Kyle Anderson, meaning that Anderson will now be a Grizzly for the next four years. But that is gonna do it for today. So here is today's question of the day. How good do you guys think Luka Doncic is really about to be? Because like I said, he is receiving tons and tons of hype from all of these other NBA players. So I'm curious to see how you guys feel about Luka Doncic. Let me know down in the comments section below, but that is gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to smack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more daily nba news thank you once again for watching i'll see all of you right back here tomorrow but until then keep getting the bugs team as you see and i am out of here peace